the previous video I showed you how to install the Xbox framework on your, on your OnePlus One which is running Oxygen OS and today I will be showing you how to run the gravity box using it. Uh, first of all you need to install the gravity box which is over here. Uh, I, I had previously downloaded the file and that's over here. Go install that. Mm. Once you're done with the install you need to go to the exposed installer which I had installed previously. If you haven't installed this thing to know how to install it please check the video uh, please check the description in the description for the video link which I had done previously. Then open the exposed framework and then if I have to go to downloads you need to go to modules and then yeah the that the, I had installed the gravity box which you can see over here and it's like 5.0 alpha one. You need to check that and then once you do that you need to go and reboot your phone to activate the module to do that you need to go to frameworks and then click on the reboot i'll be back once the phone's rebooted you can, you can actually use soft reboot i'll be using that i'll be back once the phone's rebooted it's rebooted now let's check whether the module is activated and it's working or not uh, for that you need to go to the expose installer which is over here and then go back to the framework and it should be showing that uh, the, as you can see there are two things which are over here the uh, app process and the expose bridge dot jar they should be active I'm having 61 and 62 process running so I had rebooted also I had activated the framework using the modules menu over here it should be checked the gravity box thing now let's check whether the apps working and let us see what you can do actually what you can do with this gravity box thing so let's go to the gravity bar or gravity box which is over here. Yeah. This is the menu and let us see all the things like you can you can go to quick settings manual and you can actually change the tiles and everything. You need to reboot to show like to enable this thing. Once you enable this thing you need to reboot your phone so you can actually watch change the tiles, you can add extra tiles such as volume, network mode and everything. I'll be rebooting it in, and I'll be showing you afterwards. Uh, yeah, expand desktop, screenshot, USB tethering, music, and I'm enabling anything here. And, and let me enable the compass too, and then save it. You need to reboot your phone to enable them. As you can see, nothing's actually added right now. Now go back and let us see which can be shown, which will be updated instantly without going, without doing the reboot option. Yeah, let's check the signal cluster area. Yeah, this is normal, and then go back to the notification. Oh, yeah, battery settings. Yeah, I'll be changing the battery style to uh, let me say circular with. Yeah, as you can see, the battery area, the notification has changed, and then circular battery, uh, and then stock battery, and then stock battery again. This is the official thing which comes with the OS. Uh, yeah, check the things then, and, and you can enable the data data traffic monitor, which will be showing you the data in the corner. Yeah, as you can see, it's showing the amount of uh, speed which I'm using, which my mobile is using, mobile is using in the bytes per second and everything. It's getting updated over here in the corner. And you can actually, I don't actually use that. I'll be disabling. Yeah, I can check the simple style. I'll disable that also and then other than that they're like glued to the icon visibility and clock settings battery settings notification ticker notification heads up status bar yeah status bar colors you can change the status bar color you can make it as black you can see everything is now changed to black uh, but that's not useful because when you're going to an app which has some black uh, black color Thing on the top side, you can't actually see any of the data which is being displayed. So let us check the status bar, the quick setting management, which I had actually enabled. Now, in order to activate this, you need to actually reboot your phone, as I, as I had told you earlier. Now, let me reboot my phone, and I'll be showing you the things which, which gets updated over here. So I'll be back in a while after rebooting my phone. Uh, wait for a second, please. I rebooted my OnePlus phone and now you can check whether the settings have been updated using the gravity box. 
I will record it. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I changed the network bar tweaks. No, I had changed the st uh, status bar tweaks and added very many things such as like, yeah, quick setting management. I had added extra tiles as you can now let's check whether it's updated or not. Yeah, as you can see extra tiles are appearing over here. So that's the quick setting manager which you can do with the gravity box. It doesn't come with the stock oxygen noise. And there are many power tweaks, display tweaks, phone tweaks, and media tweaks. You can tweak it as much as you want. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe and this is Wamsi signing off. Goodbye.